aspects of life. One of those aspects is eating food. As everyone knows, or a lot of my friends know, I love eating food. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of those people <laughs> who take advantage of what, I, what is given to me. <laughs> According to the organization Feeding America, more than 38 people in America are living in poverty. The majority of these people only make $27,000 a year. Today, we will dive into the aspects of hunger. Uh, and one of the, it's one of the biggest issues we have today in our country by going into debt on one, the effects of children, two, connection to homelessness, and three, the programs or places you can go if you ever find yourself in need. To begin, let me tell you how it's been affecting the people around you, whether it's the people you see at the grocery stores, your classmates, or even your friends. As Feeding America states, out of the 38 million people living in poverty, 37 million of those are in hunger. 11 of those are children. That is one in five. In this classroom today, it's out of, we have 20 people here today, so it's four people in this classroom are starving. Um, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, to, the food, to be food insecure means to be in a household where you're uncertain of when you're gonna eat. You're not able to provide due to money issues or not having a job and stuff like that. The, so it means like to be insufficient money-wise resources for food. Children are more likely to be faced with food insecurity more than any other group. With insufficient diets, children have more problems with health, uh, academic learning, and psychological behavior. I'm sure most of you who have been around kids can kind of see like a lot of them have issues with learning and sitting down, or they're always like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and they're always eating and snacking. In addition, they have long-term neurological issues, um, learning disabilities, emotional responses, are all factors that can result from malnutrition. My second point. Now, how, how does this affect the homeless population? As we just had a homeless presentation, every day we see someone who is on the streets, whether it's by the grocery store, or by the mall, or in a parking structure, because that's usually where they sleep. A popular place here in the Coachella Valley is the Palm Springs um, parking structure in downtown. According to Move for Hunger, nearly 5,600,000 people are homeless and are starving. We're expecting homelessness um, to increase as we go on through the years because of the whole economy system and the whole changes within presidency and of uh, job insecurities. We have a lot of issues pertaining to that. And a lot of Americans are blessed to have what they have, even though it might be the lowest of lows. Every day, these people are forced to choose from paying, from either paying rent or choosing to eat. And a lot of those choose to eat rather than pay rent. That's why we have um, homelessness. But when you're on the streets, it's hard to clean up, it's hard to go to your jobs, it's hard to look presentable to those people and the, to those employers, and that's what they're looking for their employee. This is why uh, vast amounts of homeless people, um, you are able to like see them uh, wherever you go. In addition, on average, the life expectancy is up to 42 to 52 years old. I am almost, I'm 19, so I'm almost 20. That means I have 30 years left to live. That is not even a lifetime to see my grandchildren be born. Um, because by the time I have children, it's going to be a while, so it's like, I'm only going to see them maybe for a year, so it's, it's a lot of life taken away from you just by being on the streets and being hungry because your mouth is nourished. Third, you may be asking where we can, where these people can go and find help. As many of us are not very informed on this topic, um, there are food banks you can look up on Feeding America, um, Hunger, uh, on Google, you can search up and you can find your food banks, you can donate, you can always buy food for homeless people. I, When I get the chance, I know it's hard as college students, um, we struggle with money, 
So it's good to whatever you can, whatever spare change you can get to give to homeless people. Um, you can also donate uh, to local organizations, as the last presentation said. Martha's Village is a big one. That was that was something I was involved in in high school, and it was a very good program because you can donate uh, blankets you made, you can donate food, you can donate clothes that you don't wear. Because I know we all have clothes in our closets that we never touch. Mm -hmm. Or we can, you know, steal our parents' clothes or yeah. anything like that. And shoes that we grow, grow out of. I know a lot of us have a lot of shoes who that we don't even wear anymore. Or like cleats that um, kids can go out and play sports with to get active. We had that presentation of having children go play outside. These are problems that all defect on hunger and money insecurities that we have within our lives. We also have food stamps. We have WIC in, in place, we have the National Lunch Program, and then how um, Lady Obama in place, all this stuff. It's not the greatest food, but at least you're getting food. <laughs> um, to conclude, I just wanted to bring this to light because not a lot of people really um, take it in that we're really fortunate to have what we have, whether it's really small or it's a lot or stuff like that. So I just wanted to talk about this in my presentation because it's it's a big problem and a lot of people say yes it's a big problem but they don't take it in to their core. If that makes sense. So I just wanted to let you know that there's a lot of people, places in place that you can go to to help people, your friends, your classmates, and stuff like that. Because the person next to you might be the person who's starving and might be and then I have a little video to play for you guys. How do we play it? Okay, just, I think you just go to the go to the computer. Mm -hmm. Or just hit play on the computer. Okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> and this is just to shed a little more light. <laughs>